Hello guys, and today I'm going to eat some out-of-date onion bhajis. Now these were actually bought in date, but I actually forgot about it, so they're out of date at the moment. These are dated um, the 6th of January. It's currently the 11th of January, very early in the morning. Um, I've just cooked them in the oven, so you can show what they are. They look like milk. It's basically Indian type food. It says inspired cuisine, and I'm assuming because they've gone purple, they're implying it's Indian based. I put this in the oven. It seems like some sort of curried um, onion meal. Um, it contains it contains um. Essentially it's mostly oil, it's also got some rapeseed oil, gram flour featuring chickpeas, yellow split peas, what's a yellow split pea? Um, maize flour, wheat flour, coriander, leaf, cumin, powder, lemon juice, red chilli, salt, coriander powder, turmeric powder, raising agents, and chili powder. I've got probably a lot of this as normal um, ingredients, but I thought the pressing them. Um, you just get these and put them straight in the oven. I've never, I got, I'm not sure if I've tried this before, but I may have done. Um, I get the thing, I may have tried this somewhere, but I'm not quite sure where. It might have been at an Indian restaurant years ago when people used to go to Indian restaurants. Um, well, people still do, but I meant when I argued with other people, you know, um, when I had a job and things like that, you know. Um, it tastes in many ways like a lot of Indian food does. Um, It's juicy and sour. That's the best way I can describe it. If I know, um, sounds paradoxical, but there you go. This is one that ha hasn't fallen to pages yet. Cause I was and this is what it looks like before you put it in the oven. I put it in quite high in the oven just because, um. Okay, put it in for 20 minutes. I put it in for 10. We're on a higher heat, to be honest. Um, and so I've got a small oven, and we've actually got several, to be honest, but that's another matter. Um, but I mostly use the small oven, and you can see it's starting. You can just about see the, um, the steam coming off it. And you know, my other videos are showing you me putting it into the oven, taking it out of the oven, taking it out of the packet. For once, I just couldn't be bothered. Um, in case this was dated the um, 6th of January, you'll have to take my word for it. I've just shown that you, but you have to take my word for it that I didn't like put other ones in or anything like that. Um, On um, Monday night, Virgin <coughs> a bit tried and failed to launch um, some satellites into space. Um, it went up very high. The 
plane went up high, but um, rocket let it down. So I couldn't possibly have known that on the 6th of January, so that proves that these really aren't out of date, but they seem to taste up perfectly okay. It doesn't say you can have it on cold, so... Uh-uh. And, um, but... In case you can't microwave it, so... I don't know why you couldn't have something like this cold, but I haven't suggested it, so I cooked it the way they told me. I've got two, I've had two now. I've got two left for another day. I've fallen here. Um, it's the back of the pack if you want to see it. And I got this from Aldi, which is a shop I don't go to very often, not because I'm, um, just simply because it's too far away now for, um, for me personally, you know, when I do is go shopping, I mean, but I want to go to a different store for other reasons and, um, That just happened to me that I was sore, but no go guys. So now you go. I'm making two onion bars, okay? Thanks for watching. Bye. Oh, before I show, yes. Do I like them? Yes. Um, but like a lot of Indian food, sometimes it can be a bit too sour. I don't know why, but I, I tend to use um, ingredients to make it rather sour than necessary. But I think that's a sort of feature of a lot of um, Indian food sometimes. Um, So there you go, but it's, it's sort of probably an acquired taste where you would really like it after a while, but you probably need to get used to it, you know, like a lot of Indian food if you've not had it before, you know, but there you go, guys. I'm assuming it's Indian because although they haven't said it, they've just said inspired cuisine and it stands like the sort of thing that would come out of um, India, to be honest. So there you go. I haven't looked into this, but um, anyway. And again, they said so it's freezeable and it's vegetarian, so there you go. And it gives you the um, the traffic light system, which tells you how healthy the food is in terms of, you know, um, how much sugar it's got and fat and salt and things like that. And it's green for sugar, which means it doesn't have a lot of sugar in, and it's, um, well, probably even any, I guess. And, um, it's got um, orange, pretty much, for the others, okay? Which means they're average, okay? And red means it's not so good for you in terms of, you know, it may be very short. If something's gone red, it means it might have a lot of sugar in it or things like that. But, um, or fat, for example, you know. But it doesn't mean, like, they didn't make it properly or anything like that, you know. It just means, or it's, you know... There were some bugs in it or anything. It's nothing like that. It just means, you know, people are on a diet and things like that don't want to eat too much, okay? Anyway, guys, there you go. Um, onion bhajis. 
And again, I'll just take one out quickly for you. This is one that hasn't been cooked, okay? So that's what one looks like when it hasn't been cooked, okay? And it, haven't, it hasn't been put in the oven. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Bye!